Libertarianism has been gaining traction in recent years. The Libertarian Party in particular is doing well in state and local elections. And in the 2016 elections, they stand a chance of doing well enough to hit 5% in the national presidential election, meaning they will be guaranteed federal funding in the next election cycle so they could get into the House. A lot of people seem to find libertarianism appealing. There are even some people who voted for Bernie Sanders who are looking at Gary Johnson and say, wow, maybe I should give him a shot. I don't like Hillary, I don't like Trump, and I want to vote for somebody. So I want to talk a little bit about why I think libertarianism is a wolf in sheep's clothing, and why I think to treat it as something respectable, something worth the attention of progressives, is very dangerous. Libertarianism on the social front is very appealing, and that's why I think a lot of people find it appealing. Uh, they want, you know, they support uh, homosexual rights, they support legalizing drugs, they support, in general, getting the government out of people's lives, which is a good thing. But that's the dangerous part. That's the sheep. You see what I mean? That's the carrot with the tr stick the size of a giant tree. Because social policy is one thing. It's something that most millennials agree on, and it's one of the reasons that the libertarians have enjoyed popularity. But what about economic policy? Economic policy, in some ways, is more important than social policy, because economic policies that are bad can cause things like poverty, which cause social issues like the war on drugs or crime. So we need to make sure that we pay attention to economic policy. And the libertarian economic policy is a disaster. It basically calls for dismantling the entire social safety net and leaving everyone at the mercy of the free market. As a progressive, I shouldn't need to tell you why this is bad, but I'll go ahead and do it anyways. Do you know what happened the last time we dismantled our social safety net? Do you know what happened? Well, in 1981, Ronald Reagan became president and gradually dismantled the New Deal and got the power of unions sharply decreased. The result has been a massive income increase in income disparity, a virtual annihilation of the power of American unions, and Citizens United, well that wasn't a direct result, but that's a modern uh, result of these sorts of disastrous policies, which has resulted in basically corporations being able to dictate elections. People like Bernie Sanders and Trump are exceptions, but they're rare. My point being that economic policy is important. And Bernie Sanders' platform, things like single-payer health care, free college tuition, ending the war on drugs. The libertarians may agree on some of these things, but on other things, they're much more at home with Ted Cruz or Marco Rubio. So don't be deceived by them. It's important to stop Donald Trump, yes, but not at the expense of throwing away your vote. If you live in a swing state, I urge you, vote for Hillary Clinton to stop Donald Trump. Vote down ballot libertarian if you'd like. But the presidential election is too important. Donald Trump is a danger to the republic. So please, for the sake of our country, vote for Hillary Clinton. I know it's not pleasant for a lot of you, but it needs to be done. Andrew Walker out.